Hello, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist, and in this video, I will review the differences between the MD Hearing Aid Volt and the MD Hearing Aid Core. These are both affordable options to give you some help with hearing loss. I'm here to give you knowledge and expertise on the pros and cons. Both of these options seem appealing if you're looking for affordable hearing aids that you can buy online. I'm excited to get into the details of this video, but before I do, I want to introduce myself. I'm a doctor of audiology who has spent most of my professional career in the San Francisco Bay Area. I created a company called treblehealth.com, which focuses on providing care via telehealth to patients who need help with hearing loss or tinnitus. If you're new here to my YouTube channel, I invite you to subscribe by finding the red button below this video, clicking the subscribe button, and that way you'll be updated when new videos are released. Let's first talk about the look and feel, the style of these hearing aids. The MD Hearing Aid Volt is slightly larger, and the MD Hearing Aid Core is a little smaller. They both have hearing aids in the color beige that sit up and behind the ear with a thin plastic tube that goes inside the ear canal. When you're looking at someone from behind, the Volt is larger than the Core. They both have some basic functions buttons on the device that you can press, which will allow you to adjust the volume and change what's called the program. Now let's talk about sound quality. To have hearing aids working well, you need an accurate hearing test, you need hearing aid technology that has excellent features, and you need all that to come together in your ear so that what you're hearing is appropriate for the type of hearing loss you have. In terms of sound quality, the definite advantage here is for the MD Core. And that's because the Core product allows you to take a hearing test through your ears through a smartphone app. The Volt is not connected to a smartphone, so it's not able to be custom programmed based on your actual hearing test with the devices in your ear. Also, from my own experience, I felt that the MD Hearing Aid Volt had a much higher risk of feedback. That's the whistling sound that can come from a hearing aid when it's played just a little too loud and the sound coming out of the device is going back into the microphone port, creating this feedback loop and creating a whistling sound. That's the kind of experience where if that happened to you or your family member, you might say, oh, hearing aids don't work and these hearing aids suck. Well, they do need to be adjusted, but with the MD Volt, I found that there's a higher risk to have a very bad experience with the sound quality. For the core, I found that the sound quality was better, mainly because of the user experience of going through their smartphone app and taking the hearing test with the devices in my ears. In terms of rechargeable battery, the MD Volt are rechargeable, the Core is not. As I said earlier, the MD Core does have an app which you can connect to from the hearing aids, but it does not allow you to have streaming or take phone calls through the hearing aids. The MD Volt has no app, no phone calls, no streaming. There is a cost difference. The Core is more expensive than the Volt, but in my opinion, if you're going to invest in hearing aids, you might as well go for the best hearing aids you can possibly afford because they do stay on your ears for a period of three to five years on average. So if you were just choosing between these two, I would choose the Core. Of course, there are many other options for online hearing aids and a lot of the options I review on my YouTube channel, I try to feature the best. Before we talk about other hearing aids, let's wrap up this conversation about the MD hearing aid product. One of my main drawbacks on these hearing aids is that the color of the device has limited options. So at the time that I was checking the MD Volt, there was only the beige color that means if you have darker skin then it would stand out quite significantly behind your ear so i felt that was a little insensitive and i didn't like that now in summary without ever seeing a hearing test result without ever asking you questions i cannot strongly recommend a device for you i'm simply showing the pros and cons of these two hearing aids but keep in mind, there's about 10 solid online hearing aid options that our team of audiologists are highly familiar with. So if you have questions on what specific hearing aid is right for you, then please do reach out to our team at treblehealth.com where we can provide consultation and help make this decision easier for you. I know hearing aids can be expensive. Hopefully this video has helped you get one step closer in your decision. I'm an audiologist. That means I have a passion for helping people hear better and also helping reduce tinnitus. The MD hearing aid system, as of date, the core and the vault, they do not have any tinnitus sound therapy features. So if someone's trying to follow tinnitus retraining therapy, for example, they would not be allowed to do that through the hearing aid itself. There are amplification benefits for tinnitus, and that's about where it stops in terms of tinnitus help 
with the MD hearing aid products. Thanks so much for being here on my YouTube channel. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know it did. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to stay up to date for new videos moving forward. If you're someone who wants to watch more and more videos, I have one on my side that I would recommend. This is a video that explains some of the top hearing aids that I want you to consider for this upcoming year. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. This is Dr. Ben Thompson signing off.